Hello everyone and welcome to my piston door. If you just take a look on the actual door part of it, it doesn't really look that complicated. But it's actually a bit more complicated than it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna open it and show you how it works. So you can see everything is retracting and it hides away the door blocks. So there's only white wool around here now. And, well, this is the interesting part. If I close it again, you will see that it's black now. It was green before. And, well, if I do this more times, it just changes colors over and over again. Now we got a blue door. So, this is basically the, the thing about this door. There are five different combinations of doors this thing has. Part of the door is stored up here, so you can see all the colors I have in the door. All the different door colors, and then there is this one here. So it just changes color every time you open and close it. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, you can basically use whatever block you want here. So, it's, well, if you remove it, you can see all the pistons and stuff around here. Uh, but you can place any block here that can be pushed by a piston, basically. Except for some redstone things, like TNT pistons and stuff. Uh, they can mess up stuff. Uh, but, well, lamps is a possible block to use. Then you can have, like, glass... It doesn't need to be able to send a redstone signal through it. Uh, you can have fence gates. And you could have... Uh, well, basically everything. You can have iron bars. Um, and glass panes. Uh, fences, I guess. Just gonna take a cobblestone wall. So this door looks pretty messy. But it still works. So I can open the door and everything will be hidden away from me. And if I cycle through all the doors now, uh, hopefully it will come back the way I made it. The next one should be the redesigned one. So here we go, and we got all of this mess again. This is a pretty stupid door design, because you can see through to see all the pistons and stuff around there. Uh, I just made it to show that uh, a bunch of blocks work for this. Uh, I guess if you want to make a better design, you could use slabs or something to cover up these pistons down here. Maybe up here as well. And then I guess you can use this to cover up the sides. So, this is a pretty cool design. Well, except that you can just walk through it, straight through like this. It's not really a good design for a door if you can walk through it. But it looks cool, I guess. So I can hide this away again. If I want, I can change the design of every door like this. I have like slabs. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to have the stairs this time. And that looks like something. Oops. Well, I guess this is everything I have to show you for this video. So. I hope you liked this door thing, and I will see you another time. Bye-bye!